Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. Just gonna show off one of my mo more recent purchases. Um, this is a Taurus Gaucho, and uh, basically a Taurus Gaucho is Taurus's um, version of a, a single action revolver. Kind of like it's kind of like a cross between a single action army and a Ruger Vaquero. Now these are not made anymore. They haven't been made in quite a while, but. Um, I picked it up for a little over 300, like maybe 329 or something. I don't remember. I've had it for a little while now. Um, but a uh, gaucho, um, if you can find them, they're they're not really that easy to come by because I, I guess they only made them for uh, a little while and they haven't been they haven't made them in a while. But um, basically, it's like a, a cheaper version of a vaquero or a single action army. Um, and I say it's kind of like a cross between them because um, it looks more like a, um, well I guess the Vaquero does look pretty much like a Colt, but the action has the four clicks, just like a Colt or a uh, Colt clone, whereas the, uh, one of the new Vaqueros would have two clicks and it wouldn't lock on any of them, or it wouldn't lock on the first one, but it would the second one. So you need to put it on half cock, which is the second click, in order to uh, turn the cylinder. But if you look, it has a transfer bar safety if my screen will focus here, it has a transfer bar safety on it. So it doesn't have a hammer mounted firing pin like a Colt or like an old Smith & Wesson or something. Um, so that is more like a Vaquero and I believe the springs on the inside are also like a Vaquero where they're coil springs versus leaf springs, although I haven't taken these grips off yet, so I couldn't tell you for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read. And um, another thing, if you notice, it doesn't actually say Gaucho anywhere on this revolver, but from what I know, that is what this revolver is called. Um, the only thing it really says on it is single action 45 Colt, which by the way, I didn't, if I didn't say so, it is a 45 Colt, which is the first 45 Colt I've ever owned. So that's kind of cool. Um, one thing about it is <clears throat> the takedown pin is really hard to take out. Um, they got it out at the gun shop when I, when I was looking at it, but like, you know, you push in the button is kind of hard to do anyway, and it doesn't want to come out. So um, I have read that that's kind of a common problem on these, so I don't know how I'm going to get that out of there. Um, but, you know, one of these days I'll figure it out and I'll be able to take it apart. Um, has your basic plastic grips that say... Taurus on them. I'm not sure if Vaquero grips would work um, or Colt grips. I don't know of the dimensions and how close they are. Um, I know that Colts were like hand fitted, so you know if you bought any grips, you had to like hand fit them or you know have them taken to a gunsmith or something. And uh, these probably are not like that. They're probably built to spec, like most guns are these days. Um, but I'm not sure where you can get, you know, actual gaucho grips, um, which by the way, the gaucho, so Taurus is a uh, Brazilian company, if you didn't know that, uh, Taurus and Rossi are Brazilian companies. The name gaucho, um, much like the word vaquero with the Rugers, gaucho is just like a cowboy, um, in some certain South American countries. Um, and a vaquero is like another name for a cowboy in a lot of Spanish speaking countries. So uh, very fitting, um, especially since it's a Brazilian company. Um, it just makes sense that they would name their cowboy revolver um, basically a cowboy. 
or maybe maybe even an outlaw. I'm not really sure if cowboys and outlaws would be like the same kind of thing. But um, sa you know, same way with the Ruger, they named it after a uh, Spanish cowboy, essentially. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting, and I didn't really know that there were so many different uh, names for cowboys in Spanish-speaking countries. So, I don't know, just kind of uh, an interesting little tidbit there. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, it's just your basic single-action revolver. You have your ejection rod here. You have your loading gate. have your hammer with your four clicks. Put it on half cock to load it and unload it. Push your ejector rod out there. So, yeah, just your basic single action revolver. Um, and it's interesting just because it's kind of a mix between a Ruger and a Colt. Um, you know, this is the only gun I think that is like that, that I can think of anyway. Um, you know, Ruger is kind of its own breed of revolver, and then you have your Colt. Your Colts and your Colt clones, like your Ubertis, your Cimarrons, which pretty much all um, copy the Colt um, pretty accurately, I believe. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, there's other companies out there like Freedom Arms makes single action revolvers, like really expensive ones. Um, I'm not really sure what they're like in comparison to a Colt or a Ruger or a Taurus, but. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's my uh, Taurus Gaucho 45 Colt. Um, if it shoots good, you know, maybe I'll try to get uh, another one and have like a matching pair for a little cowboy action shooting or something. I don't know, we'll just have to see how it performs and how it shoots and if I can ever get that stupid pin out um, to clean it and, uh, you know, we'll be good to go. So anyway... That's all for that video. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.